Here, we'll get you started with the scale generator. It's an easy and super quick way of adding notes to your fretboards. You can even use the triad and arpeggio shapes as the basis for building chords. Hit Command N to open the new diagram page wizard. Let's make ourselves a page we can play with. Select Template, 5, and click Finish. To open the scale generator, you first need to select a fretboard you want the notes to be added to. Select the Scale Generator option. You can see there's lots to choose from, but let's start simple. With the scale, every electric guitarist probably learns first, the minor pentatonic scale. Click the Next button. Now we give the scale generator some more information it needs. We'll have our minor pentatonic in the key of G. Click G in the root note list. And say we already know the E shape scale, everyone's favorite. Let's learn something new and go for the next one along, the D shape. Notice that we could choose other options here, such as three notes per string, or simply a fret range to have all the relevant notes added between the two frets we choose. There's other customizations we can make in the bottom section. For example, changing the note marker style. Click the Finish button. We should now see notes added to the fretboard. See the D-shaped chord in there? The D minor 7 chord is spelled R, flat 3, fifth, flat 7, and you can see how the minor pentatonic simply adds the perfect fourth. Now you could customize the fretboard further at this point, but we already covered that in the Neck Diagrams Overview video, so let's stay focused on the scale generator. Let's develop our page a little further to take a scale where you can see an underlying minor pentatonic. Let's go for G Dorian. Click on the second fretboard on the page, below the one we just added notes to. Open the scale generator. You'll notice the scale generator remembers your previous selections, so it's really quick to make small adjustments when you're working on a particular theme. So, let's find our Dorian scale in the list. It's the second mode of the major scale, but instead of hunting for it in the list, let's just filter for scales containing the word Dorian. Select the Dorian option under the Major Scale family. Click the Next button. See how it's remembered we were working in the key of G and in the second position. We won't change anything here as we want to compare G Dorian D shape to G minor pentatonic D shape. Click the Finish button. Can you see how the Dorian scale is like the minor pentatonic with an added major second and major sixth? Let's make that crystal clear by changing the color of the added notes. Select all the notes marked 2 and 6. Open the inspector and set the overwrite color to midnight, for example. You can even add your own scales and arpeggios to the scale generator. Click on the third fretboard. Open the scale generator. Click the Use Custom Map checkbox. If you wanted to create an alteration of Dorian, then we could just add Remove Intervals by clicking on them. Or if you want to create something completely from scratch, then hit the Reset button and enter the intervals you want. Click Reset. The notes will clear, leaving just the root. Click some intervals, for example, 1, 3, 5. Notice that the scale generator recognized existing interval maps, and that you can only create a custom map with a unique set of intervals. Click the flat 6, and the warning goes away. When you hit Next, you'll be able to enter a name for your custom interval map. Type in My Arpeggio. Check the Save checkbox. Click Next. Click Finish. And now we have our completely different custom arpeggio.